Okay, this is a video that I'm recording to remember how to change the HTTPD configuration file for Apache. So I'm going to do a lot of stop motion action here to try and uh, hide a bit of my personal information here. So let me start off by going into my account. Next step is to select dedicated virtual dedicated servers. Now I'm going to launch the manager. Now I'm in the hosting control center. You click here on the bottom for support. And you have the option of request power cycle, reset password, sync passwords, but what you really want is just launch simple control panel. Now I'm in the simple control panel. I can go down, navigate, and find this as a stage connection and that's what I want to select. You enter your username and your password here. At this point you're logged in and I am going to type in a few commands. The first two commands I made were just change directory to the root directory. First takes you from here to home and now we're in the root directory. The ls command is the analog of dir in Windows and DOS. So you can use that to take a look at what you have in your current directory. From here what you want to do is you want to find your configuration file. For me, it took me a really long time to find it, but basically it's uh, hidden in the etc. folder and then within there I believe there's HTTP and within there configuration and then in there is the configuration file. So let me try to find that and I'll come right back. So as you can see here I found the directory and I just did a change directory into etc. Uh, change directory into httpd and change directory into configuration. Before making any changes I would highly recommend making a backup. You can do that by using the cp command. So I would do I'll show you in a moment, but it'll be cphttpd.conf, and then that'll copy into a backup file that we will make. So this is the command that you would use. And into this issue where I got a permission denied, but I think we'll take care of this. So I didn't have permission, so all I had to do was use the su command, su, to log in as a root and then I was able to make a copy of this configuration file. Now what we're going to do is open it up with a little text editing program called BI. Uh, I, I honestly didn't know what the default text editing program was until I figured it out tonight. So, so you just type H, I'm sorry, BI space HTTPD dot CONS. Now we're in VI and we can edit this accordingly to whatever we want. You might be asking yourself how is it that I'm able to edit this file with this text editor. Well it's not as intuitive as I thought it would be. Here's an example of how you would uh, change a line. You would go to the line that you want, you press CC but be sure you know exactly what you're doing. Oops, see. You can't have issues like that. Uh, so then basically once you're done you press escape and when you want to save you press capital Z, capital Z. Oops. Well I guess it's no big secret that every server has a root account of some sort. In any case, uh, I ask that you not try to hack my servers. I'm simply trying to disseminate information out to you. I do have some complex passwords, so I do take care of my security, so please don't try. Okay, so I'm running out of time for here, but what you want to do is go into server